guys, I'm back and I'm so excited. Like I can hardly contain myself. This is going to be a super quick video. I promise. Um, I want to get you in and out and on your way so that you can go do exactly what I'm going to show you in this video. So I have seen so many other creators as a creator, as an influencer, as a business owner, um, I'm always learning from other creators, right? And everybody is talking about how you need to be using Pinterest more. And I'll be honest with you, I was like, it's just too much. I cannot do one more social media, but here's the deal. Pinterest isn't a social media. It is a search engine. It is kind of like the Cadillac of all search engines, to be honest with you. You can shop on it, you can get ideas on it, you can funnel people where you want them to go. And I finally caved and my numbers are already starting to skyrocket in just like two or three days of starting to really do this. But I needed to find a way where I was not being completely consumed with creating pens to put on because just like TikTok, you've got to be able to be posting consistently. Same with YouTube, right? So I'm gonna show you my trick to being able to schedule all of my stuff out. It takes me about an hour and I have an entire month worth of posts ready to go, not just to Pinterest, but they're also gonna to go to my Facebook business page. They can go to my Instagram page. I love it. And these are all things that I will have saved and I can repurpose anytime I want to. So I'm gonna share my screen with you guys and I am going to show you exactly how this works. There's one paid website you will need to use if you wanna have unlimited ability to post to all the places and that is canva pro i'll put a link to it in my description you can get a free trial um, and then go from there it's like 12 dollars and something a month it is totally worth it because of everything that canva pro has to offer i cannot recommend it enough um, if there was one thing you were going to pay for besides like a website domain or something like that canva pro is it so um, and i'm not being paid to tell you that i literally love canva so here we go I am sharing my screen with you and as you can see I am on Canva right now and this is the Canva content planner which I've done a video on using the content planner before um, as you can see this one is completely blank because I have not scheduled February's post yet I'm getting ready to do that today but in the process I'm like I've got to do a video of this and show you guys what you can do so now there are two ways that you can create your month worth of pens very quickly they're both pretty fast. One is faster than the other. So I'm gonna show you the little bit slower way first just because it's all here on Canva. So you can go in to Canva and create a new design. Whenever you're on the home page, you can see it says create a design. If you click create a design, you can choose Pinterest pin. There's also Pinterest idea pins, all that kind of stuff. I just do Pinterest pin, right? So create a new Pinterest pin. I proceed to create 31 pages here, right? And then I go over here to the templates and I put in simply Pinterest. And I go through here and I select every design that I like. And I just add it to each one of these images. The next thing you're gonna wanna do, you notice how all of my colors are cohesive. You're gonna go to styles and you're gonna pick your colors. You can choose a brand kit, which this, I don't know what brand kit this is. This is not my brand kit, but you can upload your own color brand kit here. So like if you have specific colors that you have used to design your logo, to design any of those things, you can actually go in and just select your brand colors so that everything matches. If you don't have a brand color, that's totally okay. You can pick one. For this one, I choose Hammersome and I clicked it and when you click that, you actually have the ability to apply it to all the pages. And so that is what I did. So now every single one of these images is ready to go. It's all gonna be cohesive when I post it. All right, next step if you're working on Canva is then to go in and edit all of your text, right? You're gonna edit the website, obviously, where you want them to go to. Um, you can edit these, or you can run with the themes that they've given you. Like if you do social media marketing, if you teach people how to grow businesses, you might wanna kind of use some of their ideas, social media hashtags. I mean, that's a great topic to talk about. 
So you're gonna go through and you're gonna edit these things. You will go through and you can either use their pictures or if you want to slide a picture in. So obviously this isn't me. So let's say that I want to upload a picture of myself in here. My cat is trying to join us. So we'll see what happens there. Um, I'm going to do this and look, see it's done as a picture block. So it's literally going to drop me right in there. And I can edit that image while it's in there, remove that background. Gotta love Canva Pro for that. So it's gonna take the background out. I'm gonna apply that. And there I am. So that was super simple, right? And again, I can just go in and change wording on all of these things. Once I'm done, I'm going to download it or save it just so that Pinterest, or not Pinterest, but Canva knows, hey, you know, this is a collection that we saved. You obviously have the ability to go ahead and publish this entire thing with all 30 some odd pages to hmm. Pinterest right now, but that's not what we're gonna do. We are going to schedule to publish later. So we are gonna do this. And if you do it this way, it's going to try to publish all of those pages at one time. So you're gonna go back to your content planner. You're going to create a new post you're going to select this and you're going to select which board you're posting to. You're gonna select a GIF or PNG. You're gonna give it a title, which typically your title is what is over here. I'm only posting the first page. I'm going to add a description here, so whatever I want it to do. Destination website, so if I'm sending them to wendyjoedavis.com, that's what I'm gonna put there. If I'm sending them to my YouTube channel, that is what I'm gonna put there. So when somebody clicks on this pen to learn more, then they are going to, um, you know, do that. So um, it says, you've selected more pages in this platform. It says, please check your selection. <laughs> okay, so it's accidentally selected. Um, Printers only accepts one page per post. I don't know why it's doing this, but um, let me go back out again because it's having a heart attack. Um, I'm gonna go back in, I think because I already tried to do this once. Okay, so page one through 10. So if I go here, select this and then select it again, and then you can select just one page. So now it's just one page. So put your description, put this, and then you're going to schedule the post. And right here is where you're going to select the day and you're going to select the time do a quick Google search as the best time to post for you on Pinterest, Facebook, Instagram, whatever you're doing, um, and choose that time. Like for me, it's any, anywhere between 8 and 11 p.m. as the best time for me to post, and so that's the time of day that I'm going to be posting each pen. Um, and you can post multiple pens per day if you want to do that. It's completely up to you, um, but that's how you do that. Once you have selected all of those things, you have all of these things filled out, you're gonna hit schedule post and it's gonna show up on your calendar. Um, you can also choose if you're gonna send it to Instagram and you can choose if it is a JPEG or a video. And the only thing with that is this is going to, um, it's gonna change a little bit of the formatting. It says your design can't be posted because it's too tall, resize it for me. So if I hit resize it, then it's going to resize the image for me for Instagram and on and on we go. Um, so that is how you do it inside of Canva completely. Now, maybe you're saying, Wendy, that still seems like too much work. I still have a solution for you that's even easier. Um, and this is just amazing. Okay, this is called Tailwind. Now. I had looked at Tailwind before, but as you can see, you only get 20 posts per month with Tailwind for free. And so for instance, if I wanted to post this post on Pinterest, on Facebook, and on Instagram, that's gonna take up three of my 20 posts. I need to be posting way more consistently than that. So this is what you can do. So first of all, you can choose where you're pulling images from. You can use stock photos if you wanna just search for business photos or whatever, or you can go in and you can select from, like I pulled up my TikTok and I have selected just a few of my TikTok videos, right? That are the most recent ones. So I can go in and select as many of these as I want to. And I can also go in and add another website if I want to go to um, 
wendyjoedavis.com. Let's see what that pulls up. Pulls up nothing. <laughs> um, let me see. Okay, it's not going to pull up. Um, if I pull up about me, I think it will pull up something. No. Mm -hmm. All right, well, we're just not going to play with that right now because I can't remember what the link is. Um, that I need for all the things, but that's okay. You get the idea. So you can pull up any website you want to, and it's going to pull images from that website and plug them in for you into these pins. Now, bear with me here. Now, I've only got like four images up here, and I've chosen I only want one picture for each um, slide that I'm creating. Uh, you can obviously choose multiple. If you want to do multiple pictures per slide, then see it's gonna pull up more than one TikTok, more than one. So you choose how you want it to look, okay? Or you can say no photos. You want no photos? Here you go. They're gonna give you suggestions of what it could look like. So you pick what you want. You can choose a, con a category. So let's say that you do how-tos then they're going to design how to type uh, pen, pens for you, right? Okay, so you get the idea here. You can choose stock photos, you can use your own photos. Once you have kind of figured out what you want, you can choose, so here's style. Um, you can do minimalist. Okay, so you get the idea. Like you can literally go through and kind of figure out what style you love and what you want. And then the next thing that you're gonna do on here is choose your color palette. This is just like on Canva. We can choose whatever color palette we want to use um, to keep our boards cohesive, right? So I've chose that one. I could go beachy if it's summertime and I'm like feeling fun for the month of June or whatever. Um, you know, if it's fall and you wanna go more warm tones, you can do that, like really whatever you want to do. Um, so you're gonna choose your color palette. You're going to, um, you can add branding. So if you want to upload your logo, you can do that. And you can also upload the colors will pull from your logo. So this is the same sort of branding that Canva does. Um, and again, this is all part of the free version of Tailwind. Once you have done all of those things, then you go through and you're gonna select whichever ones you want. So maybe I only pick five out of this and then I get new pictures and create some more, right? But I'm gonna select, so I'm just for the fun of it, I'm going to pick, um, and I can choose, uh, a Pinterest pin. Um, I can also choose a Facebook and an Instagram story. Okay, I'm gonna continue selecting and I can go back through and I can choose this one. And again, I can go in and I can say, hey, yeah, I also want to do this here and this time I want a post. So you can go through and select everything you want on here. Once you have decided, what you want, then you're going to go to view selected designs, and then you're going to hit review your designs. Now notice I'm still only at monthly posts of one of 20, because on here they do have the ability to go ahead and schedule this, uh, which you can do, but this is going to use, if I did this today, it would do one, two, three, four, five, six. So it would use up seven, I would have used up seven of my 20 posts in two days. And for me, that is just not gonna work. So what you can do is you can go ahead and download those designs. So you're gonna hit download. It's gonna download it as a zip file. You'll open the zip file so it unzips. Then you're gonna go back over to Canva. You're going to create a design like this, okay? And I already did that here. So this is another one that I did earlier. You're going to upload your media. So you're going to select those images you just downloaded from Tailwind, where they created all of those amazing slides for you. Um, and then you're gonna upload all of those Pinterest ones that you selected. And you might wanna do it like all the Pinterest ones first and then do all the Facebook ones, um, which will take a little bit more time. But again, it is definitely 
definitely worth it. So then you're gonna go through, you're gonna create and add all of these things, and then you're gonna go through that same process that we did before with the content planner and select each one and post it. The nice thing about this one is they pull in the words for you on Tailwind. Um, so like, you know, it's already gonna pull in the content from your website. Now, obviously, if you want to edit anything specifically on a slide, you can choose to shuffle the layout. So if you don't like the way that the layout is, you can shuffle it. If you wanna shuffle where the pictures are or which pictures are used, you can do that as well. Um, and that's pretty much it. So this is a great option if you don't want to go through and create all of your own pens for Pinterest or for Facebook or whatever, um, but you can literally spend about an hour and you can get all of this created, downloaded and scheduled, and then you don't have to think about it again for another month. So that's my tip for getting yourself automated on Pinterest and Facebook and Instagram as well, and only spending an hour each month doing it and being ready to go so easy and it's really going to help you get your business out there and get discovered and funnel people where you want them to go my cat just knocked my phone down <laughs> all right that's it for today make sure you subscribe like and follow along for more business tips and tricks